Are you ready for a tour of Novo Ants? Well, today we're going to be doing an ant room tour and seeing all of the wonderful species that I keep. Enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Welcome to Novo Ants. And this uh, section of my garage is where I house all of my ants. And I've got quite a large selection of species. Still some to add to the collection though. But let's have a look through exactly what I have at the moment. So let's start on the right hand side of the collection here. This is where I keep some of the smaller size colonies that I do have. And first of all, let's have a look at my meat ants. So this is Queen Opal and the Scavenger Gems. Now this particular queen I caught just to buy a single queen and raise this colony just from her. And I've got quite an extensive playlist on the development of her colony if you'd like to check it out. But she's doing really well, plenty of brood, and there she is, Queen Opal there in the middle. Beautiful colony, I'm really excited, and there'll be a new video coming shortly about the new outworld for this species. Next up is one of my colonies of Polyrachis. Now I've had this species for a little while and they're doing really well inside the nest here. So this is the Polyrachis vermiculosa. Now they're housed inside this little 3D printed nest from Ant Shack. I've done a review on this product as well. And then I have a small outworld for them to enjoy. But you can see inside here there's quite a number of workers. One there just popped into the mini outworld and I've extended and put on another outworld just to give them a little bit more room to explore and I can drop some more protein in there without worrying about them escaping. So let's lift off the red and film and have a look. And here we go, we can see the queen there, the largest one running around, and we have a nice little pile of brood in there as well. So some nice workers, very beautiful species of Polyrachis, and quite a small one for the Polyrachis as well. Next up on the shelf, we have my Calamomex species. This is Queen Sisa and her colony. And they're doing quite well. There was a little bit of a die off there in one of the recent videos I mentioned that, but she's recovering nicely, got some good brood, and she's inside an aesthetic ant's nest. Uh, it's getting a little bit dirty inside there, but she is still doing fine, and they've got plenty of brood there as well. So they're growing quite nicely, a little bit more attention, and hopefully over the summer, they'll continue to grow and expand. So very nice species that I'm able to share with you, and a very interesting and different species. Next up is one of my favorite species, and this is the Opisthophus ruffothorax. Fantastic stroband colony that I have, and they're growing really nicely. So I've got quite a nice uh, large outworld. Here we can see one of the workers at the top, and you can see a little bit of that strobe action as it sort of darts around and moves a little bit differently. Now they do that to avoid predators in the wild when they're out of the nest. Inside the nest here, we can see the queen at the back, and then we have all of the workers in this small little Waitong nest that I have for them. Let's have a little bit of a closer look up at this beautiful species. Here we can see the colouring, colourising of the, uh, the queen there. Got those beautiful orange colours. And one of the well-known things about this species is those large eyes. You can see those huge eyes on the top of their heads. So they're very observant, um, this particular species. How beautiful are they? And we can see the brood here that they've actually stuck onto the side of the Waitong nest here up the walls. And that's to gain some moisture here from the Waitong and as they look after their brood. So really nice to have this colony. They're doing really well. There's a nice collection of brood there. So again, through these warmer months, we'll see this colony expand and grow. And I'll be able to bring you some more updates on this beautiful, beautiful colony. Really happy to have it in my collection. Okay, well that's the right hand side of my ant room. And just a while I'm over here, just a couple of things on the side here. We can see some of the instruments I use, the uh, sugar water that I have, and I have a rubbish container that I continually carry around when I pick out all of the old bits and pieces when I clean up their nests. Well, now it's time to move on to the middle section and some of the larger colonies that I keep and some more interesting ones. So let's delve in to what I have here and see some of these other beautiful species that I keep. 
Okay, let's start with the largest species of ant that I keep, and one of the largest in the world, in fact. This is the Mimesia brevinoda, and these are a large species of bull ant. So you can see here in the outworld, they've made quite a bit of mess, and there's a new one coming. But let's look inside the nest here. We can see the brood. Look at those beautiful, juicy larvae in the middle there. And we can already see that some of these are being woven into cocoons already. They weave their little silk uh, cocoons themselves. And we've got a nice, beautiful pile of new eggs and a couple of little um, larvae have hatched already. So really nice to see for this particular colony. And bull ants are an amazing species to keep. These ones are so large. Please have a look at some of the videos I've made on them and some really up close macro footage. Inside the other part of the nest, again, look at all of these cocoons ready to go, developing nicely. So we're going to have a new generation of workers along here soon. And by the looks of it, it'll nearly double the population that I currently have. So this is a really, really good sign to have in a colony. We may even get some elates out of it. This will be very interesting to see. There we have it, my Mimesia brevinoda. Next up on the table, I have my Polyrachis ammon colony. Now this colony is struggling a little bit and I've kept it on the table so I can keep a good eye on it. We've just got the queen here with a little bit of brood and one worker. I've had a die off, a couple of workers have died. Um, and hopefully though this queen will continue to grow and this brood can develop so that I can get a nice colony of Polyrachis ammon going. Just a nice little outworld for them to enjoy. Okay, what do we have up next? Well, this is one of the largest colonies that I have and one of the largest setups that I have. This is Queen Scarlet and the Banded Sugar Ants or Campanotis consubrinus. A beautiful outworld that I'm really happy with. Gives the ants a good room to explore. Um, some different things here. Gone for that dry riverbed sort of look hopefully. But they're doing really well in here. They enjoy foraging. Um, there's always plenty in the outworld here, scurrying around, looking for the things that are available. And this is a nice, easy nest to maintain. Let's have a look inside the nest. Wow, look at that. Have you seen as much brood before? So many here. So many eggs, larvae, and cocoons. Certainly is going to be a massive boost to this colony shortly all at different various stages and they really have piled in the brood into this Oz ants nest it's fantastic to see so development I'm gonna to have to keep the protein up to these girls and keep them nice and fed so they'll be ready to look after these brood let's have a look in the other part of this nest this is the original white on nest that I made for them before the addition and wow look at that you can just see again so much brood isn't it beautiful to see how they're looking after them all. I think they're definitely going to need a new nest shortly. And have you seen Queen Scarlet there? There she is, right in the center there, just hanging off the wall. Isn't she wonderful? Beautiful queen, swollen abdomen because she'll be out laying as many eggs as she can at the moment in these warmer months and expanding this colony. Look at her, she is beautiful. And we can see some of the larger um, ants there, some of the mages in the colony working as repletes as well to store the food source for this colony. So really happy with this colony and how it's going and how it's developing. So I'm going to have to do an update video on this colony soon. Well, we've finished on the table. Now it's time to head over until the left hand side and we'll be looking at the shelving and what species we can find over in this corner of the ant room. Now to begin with, right at the top of my shelf is my storage for Queen. So these are just a shoe box that keeps them nice and dark, somewhere I can store them out of the way until they're ready. Now I actually caught a Queen yesterday, a uh, Calamermex species again. But let's have a look at the first colony on my shelf. This is Queen Scarlet and this is the Campanotis aneopelosis. So these are the golden tail sugar ants. And this is a beautiful colony that's doing really well. In fact, they're definitely going to need some more room shortly. You can see in the outworld here, it is just packed with them. They are scurrying around so much and the outworld is constantly full of workers. They go through their sugar water and their water so quickly. This colony really is growing and expanding. So let's have a look inside the nest and see what's going on in there. 
Here we can see in this Ozan's acrylic, they are really, really growing. We've got some nice poles of brood which are developing nicely and they're quite packed in here. A little bit of room to go in here though, but considering how many workers we have in the outworld, they probably will need some more room to expand shortly. So that's something else that I'm going to have to think about doing soon. This is a really nice colony of Campanotus to keep. They're not extremely large, but when you look up really close, beautiful colouring. Next up we have a species that is very interesting. This is a solo queen. Any guesses? Well it is a Mimesia. A Mimesia and I think I'm going for a Pilaventris here. So the golden tail bull ant. Um, but yes, yet to identify it definitively. Now she has had some larvae, um, but she has eaten that, so I'm trying to keep her nice and quiet. But you can see that she still has a wing on her as well. She hasn't pulled off both of her wings. So that's pretty interesting, but she's doing really well. And let's move on to another bull ant species. This is Mimesia nigrosincta. This is my second colony of these and they are quite a ferocious species to keep. One of my favorites as far as the coloring with that orange and black actually remind me of tigers and I'm sure they are quite devastating as well when they do attack. Uh, knowing quite a lot for their jumping like jumping jacks because they always run out to attack and I always find that when I'm feeding them they want to come out and do some damage. But this colony is doing really well. I've got them in a tubs and tubes set up here. The queen um, has a nice healthy little pile of brood. A little hard to see inside of the uh, test tube. It's a little bit dirty. But we've got three workers and it looks like we've got four or five nice plump healthy larvae in there as well. So definitely going to need to feed them some crickets to keep them happy and them growing. Um, and hopefully we'll have some new workers shortly in this colony. But this is the Mimesia nigrosincta. Really nice bull ant species to keep if you ever get the chance. But definitely not for people that are inexperienced. Okay, let's move down to the next shelf and see what we have sitting down here. Now to begin with, let's look at this rather large one on the right here. Any guesses? Well, if you've seen my recent video, could this be the end? This is my Mimesia pilaventris, where the queen actually died. And as you can see here in the nest, the nest is completely empty and abandoned. Not a single ant in here anymore. So they have withdrawn and in the outworld, you can see them, they're now in the test tube. In the test tube by themselves, we've got about a dozen workers left and I just supply them with a little bit of food, a little bit of water and just keep them happy. It's a sad thing to see when a colony does die out, but I'm gonna try and look after them as best I can until that does happen. But these are a very nice bull ant, this Mimesia pilaventris, a beautiful golden tail on them. And hopefully that's the queen I've got. Even though I won't introduce it to these, this colony, hopefully I can get another colony going of them shortly. Okay, now it's time to move on to Lilith and the Valkyries. Now this is another colony of Mimesia nigrosincta. Now I've had done a few videos on this colony. Uh, again, very nice species of ant to keep. I've just changed the outworld fairly recently just to give them a little bit more room uh, to explore and hopefully they'll enjoy that. How's it going inside this bull ant den from Ant Shop Oz? Well, they're doing really well. I've added a new water test tube at the top there, but we can see the queen here with a couple of her workers. And yes, it looks like we have some more cocoons here ready to hatch. In fact, I've counted four cocoons there. So that's fantastic if we're going to have another four workers emerge shortly. Really excited for that. The colony expands, which is fantastic. Uh, quite slow to develop this colony. Um, we've had a few issues along the way, but they're doing really well. And hopefully again, through this summer and the warmer weather, we'll have a much bigger, nicer colony to be able to share with you. And I'll be able to give you a nice update on this colony shortly. Next up, I have another Campanotus species. Now, not fully identified this one. I'm not sure if it's a Lowney or not, or not, but it's a nice little Campanotus species that I am keeping just here in this uh, tubs and tube setup. Um, there's probably about a half a dozen or so workers with this colony. They're doing okay, and we'll just see how they develop. But it's one that I haven't shown off on my uh, channel yet. But 
she is really nice she's really dark coloring and those lighter legs so really interesting let me know in the comments below if you know what species of Campanotus this is even though it's a little hard to see finally over in the back here we have another really exciting species and this one I'm really excited to show to you this is another Mimesia species now again I need to fully identify what this is I've got a few thoughts but I'm really keen to know what you think this species is. It is a Mimesia, quite a large species, but look at this beautiful colouring. You see that colouring? We've got the golden tail again, but we've got those red legs. I have my ideas, but I want you to let me know what you think this species of bull ant is. Let me know in the comments below. Really keen to see if you agree with what I think it is. Now this particular queen, I've seen her lay one egg so far, but she ate it not long after. So hopefully if I just leave her long enough, I've had her for quite some time, hopefully she will lay and we'll be able to get a nice colony from this queen. So a little bit of trial and error here we with this, but she's in a beautiful tubs and tubes setup. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some eggs shortly. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this ant room tour. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the different species of ants that I keep. Some really fascinating and different ones that I'm so proud to have in my collection. And I'm so happy that I get to share my ant keeping journey with you all. And I really appreciate all of your support on my channel. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I've got some more really interesting content coming up shortly as well. Again, thank you for joining me on my journey here at Novo Ants. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Well, a huge thank you to my wonderful Patreons for supporting the channel. Thank you, Medical Carcass 9, Hugh Janus, Gordon C, Ant Nation, and Nicholas Strano. Now hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel so you don't miss a single video. There's a video there recommended for you and one that I've picked that I think you might really enjoy, especially as we head in to the nuptial season. Thanks for watching and happy ant keeping.